Happy Saturday morning, everybody. It is prime time for Slime Time. That's why we are at the Imagination Station with the Chief Scientist, Carl Nelson, and Christina Williams, who's the chief of everything. Good morning to you both. Good morning. Hey. And uh, what are we going to do here? We're, we're going to make three different variations on slime. Slime is so popular right now. Super popular. Super popular. And one thing to keep in mind when you make slime at home, there's lots of recipes out there on the internet. One of the ingredients that we're going to use today is borax. Okay. Let me show you how little borax you actually need. In one cup of water, one teaspoon mixed in, that's all you really need. And this is going to be more, we're not, we're not even going to use this much today for our three bowls really? of slime. Okay, and so I know it comes in a box, comes so in a, box. a lot of people that are... Is a, that's a lifetime supply of <laughs> oh. borax for making slime. For Seriously. slime purposes. For slime purposes. Okay. Yeah. Seriously. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make three different colors. Give some drops of your food coloring into the bottom of your bowl. Okay. You've got red, I've got... How many drops? Uh, however deep you want the color. That looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. <laughs> all right. That's right. Now, Christina, yes. you've got guar gum. It's a food thickener. Oh, yes. So go ahead and just dump that whole thing in. Guar gum. Tony, you've got half school glue and half water. Go ahead and pour mm. yours in. School glue. And I've got school glue as well. The reason we're using school glue is because it contains something called polyvinyl alcohol and polyvinyl acetate. It's a long chain polymer that we're going to connect together to make slime. Because right now, this is just like goo. It's mm -hmm. not really slime. Sure. So Christina, you have right here in that teeny little beaker, teeny, beaker. teeny little beaker, yes. you have a little bit of a borax solution. Okay. And what you're going to do is you're just going to sprinkle that over your, just kind of gently, gently, now. gently, pour it. and then once you get it all in, it's 10 milliliters, not very much, you're just going to stick your hand in there and start working it together. All right, let's do this. Okay. Tony, yeah. what I want you to do is you have the same sort of stuff. Go ahead and pour a yours in more. and start working. Thing, yeah. Not gently. Yeah, and now just kind of scoop it around and okay. mix it. And what you're doing is you're allowing that borax to cross-link the polymer. Mm. Carl loves his polymer linking. It's getting chunky over now, here. Now, another way we can do that, and just keep keep working it gently, okay. um, I have some shaving cream. We're going to use like half a cup or, or so of shaving cream. That's never going to come out, is it? We'll just add a little bit more. All right. And another thing you can do with this is add a little bit of baking soda okay. to change the pH. And in this case, we're going to use Lens Solution, okay. which contains boric acid. Oh. It's borax. Hmm. We're going to just sprinkle a little bit of that in there, and I'm going to work mine together. Mine's a little bit different that we have the bubbles mixed in from the shaving cream. Yeah, I'm intrigued about yours, Carl. Okay, so it looks like you know, it takes a few minutes to yeah. actually get the cross-linking to happen. It's beginning to congeal. Is it? So, can Christina, you have what I call the classic formula for slime. Classic slime. This is what was made in the 1970s by Mattel. Came in a little garbage can. Okay. Oh, look at that. Look at, see if you can, like, can you pull it up? Does it? It's almost like a jelly. Yeah, it is. You know what it reminds me of? It kind of looks like jello. Here we go. Oh, that's nice. That, it sticks together, though. That, oh, look, oh, look at that. It's, it's like it wants <laughs> to jump slippery. out of your hands. It's very yeah. slippery. Tony, can you pull yours up? What does yours look like? Yeah, mine is more of a flimsy slime. Yours it looks, wants to yeah. separate. It wants to separate. It's, yours is a little bit chunky, right? Yeah, I, it is I call chunky. yours more like a jello, <gasps> a jello-y thing. Ooh, look at yours. But cotton this, candy. This is like a taffy. cotton taffy, cotton yeah, candy taffy. kind of thing. And you know, you can add stuff to this. You can add uh, glitter, googly eyes. Don't add the styrofoam balls. They don't biodegrade. That's not a nice thing to do. Okay. <laughs> but um, yeah, and the more you work all of these, the uh, thicker they'll become. Yeah, that's what mine's doing right now. You see how it's not slipping out of my hands as much? But you know, cool. you can even mix in different colors of food coloring and this taffy-like stuff. That uh, makes just, it's a great texture. And yeah. then you can mix all the slimes together and start over. You, you could if you want to. I mean, you can experiment. That's the whole point is experiment with how this stuff works. Uh, Christina, you can get the guar gum at the specialty aisle in okay. the grocery stores. All right. It's a food additive. It's a thickener. Uh, the borax in the laundry aisle, shaving cream. The shower. And shower aisle. Yeah. Yeah. It smells <laughs> very clean. Yeah, so you can try this one at home or you can come on down to the Imagination Station yeah. on Saturday. If you live in Lucas County, you have a kid who lives in Lucas County, that kid gets in free with a paid adult admission, Saturday only. But back now to the slime. Very We're all going to cool. get our hands in this. It's a taffy pulling contest. <laughs> Feel that one. All right. Well, that's how you imagine it.